no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. So we're back where we were, um, except I've got this guy going. And if you remember from yesterday's video, I was curious as to whether this guy was going to back up or not. And as you can see, he is and doing a great job of it. Or she, actually. But, um, yeah, we got course play chugging along here. And we're going to go ahead and get back to planting with this monster uh, and trying to figure out a way if there is a way to do this better which seems to be covering everything right now so um, let's just bring up this one so maybe it will work for me the way that it should except my working with shows 7.2 I'm not sure exactly why that is. It should only show six. It should show nothing more than that. Hmm. Not exactly sure why that is showing anything larger than six, because this planter is only six meters wide. No bigger, no smaller. So. It's definitely kind of odd. But I think I'm just going to have to go with it for now. And I will adjust it. Okay, so there's the six that we should be. So, we'll just shut it off for now until we get up to that area where it should be. Actually, I want to see how much would the next size up planter be. 96,000 and it also needs 270 horsepower. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to lease this. Okay, so first off, what we're going to do, we're going to lift this, we're going to fold it, shut it off, all that good stuff. We're going to get it moving. Come on, tractor. We're going to take this back to the farm, and we're going to lease that tractor and that bigger planter just to try and get through this some and see what we can do because this is going to take ages to do and we don't have ages to get it done so so we need to rent something and use it and get things done I mean that guy he'll probably be good for a while you know what? Heck with it. We're gonna stop this guy. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna delete that. We're going to sell both of these planters. And we're just going to lease a few items. Because these two are just going to take forever. And we don't have that kind of time. Or I don't have that kind of time want to spend that kind of time doing something like this so this is what we're gonna do we're not gonna buy it we're just gonna rent it I 
Maybe we might even go a little bit bigger too, who knows. get everything washed up and whatnot and then and then we'll take care of it. Forty seven washed up. I probably could have saved myself some money if I had thought to do this from the beginning. To just lease some equipment. I mean, I could have bought, like, the disc and then a couple, you know, the two tractors and whatever. And, you know, just bought in a few items, but not bought in planters and stuff. I could have saved myself money in a way. I mean, in the long run, if we just sit and rent. We're going to be blowing a lot more money, but we should only need to rent for like two seasons, hopefully. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to sell this and sell this. We need to rent, you know what, we're going to rent a bigger tractor right away. Attachers, we want PTO probably. Let me see here. Because I'm going to just rent some bigger cedars from the start here. So we're going to do like this one. Okay, and then for a cedar, 12.8, we'll do this guy for a drill, and then we'll do the versatile, and we'll lease that. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to get these things parked back in the shed. Yeah, this is just going to be a much nicer way of doing things. We'll just use what we got for different things. Uh, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to customize the... Uh, 78 here, so we're gonna leave this guy. Well, we'll take him up here. We're gonna customize this thing and get the duels off of it, and then we can use this for spraying. So we need to repair it and then figure. We want single tires. Alright. You know what? We're just going to leave this guy right here. 
we're going to go here and we're going to reset our machines that we rented. Okay, so we're going to finish planting our sorghum first. Select Milo. There we go. Oh, and not hit the fence. And we're not going to put any fertilizer in this. I'll just, uh, oh, well, we'll just head up to the field and we'll figure out a way to fix all that stuff. This is almost five times the size of that other planter that we were using, so this should get stuff done in a much faster manner. We'll put down a little bit of liquid fertilizer at the start. We don't have much of it, so we won't put down a whole lot of it, but there'll be enough. So this is the first time that I've actually used this planter. Uh, I've used the larger air seeder version I've used that on Central Valley, but this is the first time using this one. I mean, it's just the same size as the air seeder, just different style seeder. This one's a center fill instead of uh, an air cart. actually have more money now for whatever reason not exactly sure why not gonna complain though <laughs> we have about a hundred thousand dollars more I mean we made a little bit off of the planters but I don't think we made that much that we should have seven hundred thousand dollars Let's go ahead and get all this fixed. Like I said, we will put down fertilizer for a little bit here. Hopefully not for very long, but we will for a little bit. And we're just going to lock on with our GPS here for now. Let's see if we can use it a little bit. We got five. Four, three, two, I guess 
missing one, and we should be out of fertilizer now. There we go. Alright, now we're just planting. We aren't going quite as fast as we were with the other planter, but we're covering a whole lot more ground in a pass. Eventually when we get like the seed hawk and stuff, we'll uh, we'll really be able to cover some ground. But until then, we're just going to have to do with what we got. So this is the 450 version of this. There are a few different versions of this tractor. Um, if we look so you can get it with PTO, PTO and rear weight, upper rear weight, both rear weights, lower. Um, you can get the 2017, 450, 500, 550. You can get legendary 450, 500, and 550. Or you can get 2016, 455, 550. And then you can get yellow 710, R42, Goodyear's, 800, R38 Firestones, you can get white Goodyear's, white Firestones, quite a few options on this tractor actually, but um, yeah, anyhow, we're just going to keep planting here, I'll set the GPS up correctly once I get over onto, uh, that side of the field where it'll be planting stuff that we haven't planted already. I think any fixing that we have left to do after this video I'll just do off camera and then the next, then tomorrow's video will be planting on that side. Uh, what I do with my note here. So yeah, so this is field seven. So we got quite a bit of ground to cover yet. There's definitely no way we could have done it with that uh, other planter. There's just no way. I don't have the time or the patience for that. <laughs> Not at all. I mean realistically we could sell quite a bit of our stuff we could keep like our combine in our truck and then just rent everything as we need it that'd save us on cost hmm I wonder if we shouldn't do that and keep like we can keep the uh, 47 we'll keep the 47 the combine the truck and all the headers and then the disc and then we can get rid of everything else. Let's do that. So, this stuff we're all going to keep. That we'll keep. These obviously we'll keep. Um, that we have to keep. This we'll get rid of. This we'll get rid of. This we'll get rid of. And this we just need to customize. So that puts us up there a little bit. So then... We can rent us a sprayer later on once we need it here. Uh, we could rent like maybe a self repelled sprayer or something. Maybe like the R4045 or a Miller. Or maybe this guy. This guy would work. I don't know how big of a spread is that. 34. <laughs> so it's just about as big as the in-game one. So it's fairly decent size.
definitely wishing I had thought of these ideas when we started. Kind of a little late now. But, oh well, I guess. We're already 20 minutes in, too. But yeah, like I said, I'll just finish this stuff off camera. And then um, I'll start again once we're starting on that half. And then we'll have a chance to use the Great Plains right away as well. And we'll just use all kinds of stuff here. I want to see this frame a little bit. Let me see where it will pivot. I don't know if it's actually supposed to. Or maybe it was just the front wheels moving around. It seemed like it was this front. But, I don't know. I definitely wish that our other planter had either been a little bit smaller or that this one was bigger. That we could, you know, like, big enough that we could cover two rows at a time. Uh, let's just set this up once. Be our correct size. And we'll just run it like this, I guess. And maybe at some point I'll be able to start picking up on the other side or something. But, yeah. So, I think I'm just going to cut this one a little bit short. And we'll be back in the next one. Um, and then we'll just work with renting stuff for now, like I said. And uh, i got to try and figure out how to do missions. I thought that I read something somewhere that you can do missions, but I'm not 100% on that. What's this Capello stuff? Capello. What the world would be Capello? Huh. But, yeah, I'm going to have to see if there are missions, because if there is, then I might do a few of those, and that would give us some money as well. But, um, yeah, I'm going to cut it a little bit short, like I said, so that'll do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.